One of the main features of metric is the export feature. And that's what we're going to take a look at today. So for any of the resource pages, such as orders, subscriptions, if you're using subscriptions, customers, products, coupons, carts, you can export this data. We're going to look first at customers. And here we can see an export button and below a list of all of the customers. Now I can click on this export button and export all of these customers. But for this example, I'm going to show how you can target certain customers. So let's say we would like to find all of the customers that have purchased a certain product. So we're going to use the segmenting feature here. Product purchased includes Henry Texier. Okay, so there are now 203 customers that have purchased this product. Now, maybe recently a new product came onto your store and it is a similar product to this one. So you would like to target these customers, but you would maybe you'd like to add an extra filter here of last ordered. Let's say over six months. So here we can see that maybe there was a new product that came out recently, um, let's say in the last few months, and it's similar to this product. So you think these people would be interested in this product. And the fact that they haven't purchased anything in the last six months suggests that they may well be interested in this product, but they just haven't Maybe they just don't know about it and you would like to let them know. Okay, so by doing the export here, we will get a list of all of these customers plus a lot of other information, which we can then put into, maybe you have a third party marketing app, maybe you would like to retarget through Facebook ads or other third parties. So we can now click on the export button and we have some options. If I click the download button, this will just automatically do a CSV download for us. Or I can click email and it will automatically send an email to me with a link for the download. Or I can create an automatic export. Here we're going to take a quick look at the recurring automatic export. Now what happens here with a recurring report is it simply does this automatically for you at a frequency that you decide. So for this one, I'm going to call it um, re customer six months. I'm going to choose an export method. I can choose email or if you are using Slack, you can select this and have it sent to um, one of the groups. Who am I going to email it to? Well, I'm going to eat it myself. And you can add multiple just by adding a space. Now we choose the frequency. You can choose daily, weekly, or monthly. So I'm going to get a monthly report on this. It's going to send on the 1st and it's going to send at 9 a.m. based on my store's time zone, which is currently set to London time. Include a summary totals. Now, this will simply just give you a, an overview, such as there are 143 customers. The average order spend was $200 and the average number of items purchased in the order was four. And the other option is to attach the CSV directly to the email. Now, as long as the CSV file is less than eight megabyte, you will be okay to do this, but generally we advise that you don't check this and just use the download link. 
and then we can create the export. Okay, great. Now we can check all of the exports that we have here. So here you can see the new one that will be get sent to the two emails that I sent up and it will send on the first of every month at 9 a.m. Now, if we look at the orders, <clears throat> here again, we just have a list of all of the orders and another export button. So again, I can export just all of the orders, but I would like to filter down on, uh, here we're gonna filter down on some custom metadata. So we're going to filter down on the Stripe fee. So maybe we want to find customers with where the Stripe fee was over a certain amount. So I'm going to try greater than one. Okay, so we have two orders. This is good for my example. Um, and we're going to do an export on this. Now, we can see that there are different options and there's an extra option here of the one row per line item. Now I'll come back to this uh, shortly but there is another uh, tab here for all settings and here we can include meta. Now by default these extra information such as the stripe fee that I just filtered on is not included by default. Uh, maybe I'd like to include it as one of the columns in my uh, export. So I can search for this, Stripe fee, and that will be included as an extra column. Now we come down to the one row per line item. In some orders, I will have a look quickly back here. For example, this order here, you can see that three items were purchased. So there would be three line items for this order. Sometimes you would like it all to be grouped in one row, and sometimes you would like to have it separated out into three different rows. This is where you choose that option. So if we go back here, for this example, I'm just going to leave it off. I'm not going to have it as one row per line item. And we're just going to do a general export. Okay, so I'm going to download this export. And we can see now that we have a CSV file with lots of information. Basically all of the order information, but not all of the custom meta information. And right at the end, here we have the extra one that we have added. Okay. Now, we're gonna do this order with the one row per line item. This way I can show you the difference. So this time when we click on it, it no longer is there just two rows, there are now four rows. Why are there four rows? Well, as we remembered before, the order that we looked at for Robert Peterson, he ordered three items so it has split this up into three different rows. And as you go further along, you will see all the information. And it, here, the line item name. So you can see the three different products that they purchased. Okay. One final thing here, as you can see with those two exports that you saw, there was lots of information. Usually a lot of this information you may not ever be interested in. So you can customize the columns so that they only include the ones that you want. So we're gonna do that here. We're going to select the shipping address first name, the shipping address last name, and the billing address email and we'll have one more of, uh, what should we choose? Total. I'm not going to have the one row per line item for this one. 
The other thing that I would like to mention is the delimiter. Currently it is set at a comma. For most customers, you would just leave this as um, a comma. The only time you're likely to ch need to change that is if the spreadsheet software that you're using um, or the third party software that you're using once you have exported the data is using a slightly different setup and requires you to use a different delimiter. But like I say, for 99% of the people using this, you will never need to change this. Okay, let's do this export. I'm going to download it. Open it up. And we can see this is now a lot simpler. We just have the name, the address, total, and the stripe fee as that's exactly the columns that I asked it to download. So obviously you can customize these columns to exactly what it is that you are looking for from your export. Okay, 